hi guys hope you're doing well in today's video i have again decided to solve a commonly faced problem by react native developers in which they basically face a gradle issue or you can say a conflict whenever they are trying to create a new project and one of the common root causes behind this particular issue or the error that you are facing is basically that the gradle that the react native command downloaded is actually advanced in accordance with the one that is operating in your android studio and the second reason could be that the version is older as compared to the one that is operating in your android studio so in any of those cases this particular solution is going to work wonders for you and i can assure you that uh, also i would like to say that this particular solution is for android people so if you are a developer who is developing an application for android platforms this solution is for you uh, but for ios developers i will uh, look forward to that uh, in the coming videos but right now this particular video is for android uh, android people so without wasting any more time i will start right away okay so the next step that i am going to do now is basically check the application that i have downloaded for react native and uh, you know the command already if you have been working on react native it is npx react native in it and your project name so that is the basically command that i have already run and i already have my project set up so the next thing i'm going to check is whether my project is running running or not so for that i'm going to write down the command for it which is npx react native run android so here it is running now i'll be checking whether this thing is going to actually give me an output or not so we'll wait for some time and then we'll just check uh, whether i get an output or not okay so now as you can see that i have got this error that says um uh, yeah it is trying to download 6.9 which is the latest version of gradle that works in my system so basically it's trying to get that version of uh, the you know uh, gradle but it's not getting it hence it is throwing an error which is why i'm getting all this error and it also says that fail to install the application of course it's not having the gradle hence it is not going to be able to install the application in my emulator so we are going to fix this now so for that you need to go to the android studio i have it in my uh, top priority application so it will be opening and let's see how this is going to get fixed okay so it opens and as you know that uh, android studio opens the last project that you were working on so it will be opening that and i will go on to close this project so that we can open the one we are working on right now which is dear Derm. okay so in this i need to yeah it is here and as i told uh, in this you need to open this android part in this uh, so the first one you need to find the project name and then in that you need to open the android one okay so just click ok it will be opening it will take some time as it will immediately fire some processes in which it will be updating and also it will sync the project according to the latest gradle as asked by the react native project okay so this is where your gradle would get downloaded in accordance with the project that you are working on so this is this step is very important and this problem will be fixed with the help of android studio okay so this will uh, you need not go there go down to the website and download it exclusively or you need any particular solution or cache clear no not nothing of that sort you need to do you just need to open your project in the android studio and let it do its task on its own even if 
you are uh, you know uh, no matter what version are you working on it just doesn't matter it will download the project for you it, it will download the gradle for you and uh, you know sync the project according to the requirement okay even if this thing doesn't gets fired uh, you know automatically as soon as you open the project then you can just go down this file and here you need to just look for this thing this needs to be activated if any processes are currently working then this will be you know in the deactivated or in the blurred mode but as soon as the processes get completed this will get activated and you need to click on that so that you know uh, all the process get fired instantly and uh, you need to wait uh, you need to wait as soon as it completes and after that you will definitely be able to run your project absolutely fine if there is no other errors okay uh, so for the gradle problems this will work for you as it says you know uh, as it uh, says sync project with the gradle files so it will sync the project according to the gradle requirement in the project okay so let's wait for the process to get completed so hope you've understood till now i will just you know uh, wait for it to complete as you can see all the updates have been done in my project and i will see uh, you know just how things work so the first thing you need to check is if is everything working so you need to do the debug thing so just debug app and it will gradle build running and if the gradle works fine for you then absolutely your project is going to run completely okay so we'll see if this thing works for us or not okay so what happens is that it says that your antivirus program might be impacting the build performance so basically my antivirus is not letting the build you know open but everything has worked fine for me so i'll just check out if my project is going to run now or not so i will just open my project in the cmd and i will try to run it through the react native command which is uh, npx react native or uh, run android and check if things work for me this time or not because my gradle has been uh you know okay and in sync with my project requirement and i have the latest version of the gradle downloaded for me so i am hoping if things will work for me this time um uh, okay so we'll just find that out in a few moments so it is installing the application it has not yet shown me any gradle issue which uh, you know shows a positive sign that things have worked for me and uh, otherwise up till now uh, it must have uh, it should have thrown the gradle issue but it has not and it is almost complete yeah the build has been successful so now my application is absolutely working fine as you can see the node module just launched the application and it will show me the result so yes my default project has opened up and shown me the output for it so yeah my gradle issue has been resolved so hope this video helps you out in solving your gradle issues as well uh, just go to the Android Studio, get it, uh, get it in sync with the requirement of your project. Because sometimes the, uh, you know, uh, Gradle, uh, uh, you know, is mentioned uh, different to the one that works in the Android Studio. So that will get fixed with this thing. Also, if you want to check where is the Gradle, uh, you know, version been mentioned in your project. So I'll show you that as well uh okay so for that you need to open your project code in the vs code you can just open it in whatever you know editor you are using so i'll in this i this is a project structure i will go to the uh, android folder in this you need to go to the gradle part where you need to open the gradle wrapper dot properties file 
in this you see gradle uh, i have the gradle 6.9 all dot zip which is the version of the gradle that is being used in my project and uh, this was supposed to be downloaded in my project which is why that error was being shown and uh, now as things have been fixed and the required gradle has been downloaded uh, i have my project running also if you want to check whether the required gradle version is there in your system or not you need to go to your downloads where you have the you know uh, or, or you need to go to the users folder basically go to your c file and go to the users thing and in that you need to go to the dot gradle folder where you will have this wrapper folder and in this you have the disks here you have all the gradles that have been downloaded and all these versions of the gradle will be working absolutely fine in your system so if you want any other gradle to work uh, for you or you need to remove any gradle then just refer this folder for yourself and work accordingly hope this video worked for you and uh, please like share and subscribe uh, if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye bye